Hi everyone! Today I want to share with you how to plant hyacinth bulbs. Hyacinths are gorgeous fragrant flowers that will perfume your entire mid-spring garden. They bloom along with the daffodils, the early tulips, and they come in a dazzling array of colors. There's whites, creams, pinks, apricots, wines, and of course my personal favorite, true blue. You can't go wrong with a blue flower out there in the garden, can you? Now hyacinths are really, really easy to grow. Those of us in cold climates can just get the bulbs in the fall and plant them directly in the ground like I'm going to be doing today. They require a cooling period of 12 to 14 weeks at 40 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit in order to bloom properly. And those of us in cold climates, we just naturally experience that during the winter. However, if you are in a warmer climate, you're gonna wanna go ahead and pre-chill your bulbs prior to planting them out. And this is really easy to do. All you have to do is put the bulbs in the crisper drawer of your refrigerator for 12 to 14 weeks prior to planting, and that'll take care of the pre-chilling for you. Just be sure not to place your bulbs near any ripening fruits such as apples or pears because these can actually cause the flower in the bulb to abort because of the ethylene gas that they emit. So now let's go ahead and plant some hyacinths together. You'll see that I'm wearing gloves for this. That's because hyacinth bulbs have a powdery coating that can cause skin itching and irritation. So I always like to wear gloves and then I wash my gloves as soon as I'm done. Now hyacinths like to be planted in full sun and loose well-draining soil. They wanna be planted four to five inches deep and five to six inches apart. So let's put some in the hole that I've prepared here today. I like to plant in uneven numbers. Groups of five, nine, and 11 look really beautiful. Plant the bulbs with the pointy side up. And then once they're in the hole, we just backfill with soil. And generally speaking, fall and winter rain is enough moisture for these bulbs. But if your weather happens to be unusually dry, you can go ahead and water them in. But really, that is all there is to it. Now, what you can expect to see come spring is the leaves will emerge first. And then about three weeks after that, the bloom stalk emerges and you'll get that beautiful big bloom. Generally, it's one bloom stalk per hyacinth bulb Although sometimes I've seen them put up an additional stock. This stock is always smaller, shorter, and has less florets, but you will sometimes get a second or third, but it won't ever be as showy as that initial really big, big, beautiful stock. Now, after they're done blooming, you can either treat them as an annual and remove the entire plant bulb and all, or if you live in an area where hyacinths come back reliably, you can leave them in the ground to perennialize. So here in 6B, what I do is after they're done flowering, I first remove the whole bloom stalk at ground level, but I leave all the foliage to die back naturally and that replenishes the bulb for next year so it can flower again. Now once the foliage yellows, then it will eventually die and turn brown and crispy. At that point, I can pretty much just swipe it away from the ground or cut it away. And then my bulb will come back next year. So you can see there's just so much to love about hyacinths. They're easy to plant. They're big, beautiful flowers in the spring, wonderful fragrance. And they're also deer, rabbit, vole, and squirrel resistant. Now, that's definitely a bulb that I can get behind. Well, I sure hope this video was helpful. And from all of us here at Longfield Gardens, happy gardening. Bye.